Alright guys, so quick video um, how to clean up the mill scale off a of sheet metal. So you got two options. Mill scale is caused when they um, they create the metal in the foundry, so it's just a black, horrible coating. You can't grind it off. Um, there's only really well you can try and grind it, but all you're gonna get is this. So you can see there the problem with grinding it. You'll get some of it will come off. It's just like a really hard scale, and then you can see where it's really stuck down onto the steel. All you get is a polished surface, which isn't any good. If you want to do some fabrication and clean it up, there is a simpler way. And the way we do that is with this. So this is just you can use any type type of drain cleaner. What you want is the stuff that contains sulfuric acid. It's pretty gnarly. Um, for us, where we live out here, if it comes in a bag like this in the shop, then uh, that gives you a clue that it's pretty uh, pretty serious stuff. But yeah, we're going to use this to get this still cleaned up. So. Okay, so what we're going to use to clean this up is uh, this one is liquid fire drain cleaner. So when you get your drain cleaner, make sure it's got uh, the sulfuric acid. You can just see it there. So it needs to have that in it. Obviously you need to be careful messing around with this stuff. So rubber gloves on, eye protection as well. And I also suggest you don't do this inside your workshop. It's, just, it's pretty corrosive and even the fumes are corrosive. So if you open it up inside your shed, you might find you uh, corrode everything inside. So do it outside. Nice well ventilated area, but obviously. Also, take note of the cautions. Make sure no one drinks it or no animals can get involved with it. Oh. So what I've got, just a little pot of water. I've got the strip of steel. We're gonna pop in there. So it's just normal tap water. Use a plastic pot, don't use a metal container because it doesn't corrode plastic, but it will corrode metal. So all we're doing, take the top off your cleaner, just want to pour a little bit in to the water, don't need too much. And it's just a case of popping in the steel. leave that in there now for 10 or 20 minutes let it do its thing you can see the bubbles starting to come off the side of the still that means it's starting to do its job all right so it's been sat in there now about 15 minutes you can see all the little bubbles forming on the steel that means it's done its job so we can take it out now and clean it up so what i do obviously rubber gloves on because i don't want to get this stuff on my hands and then I also give it a wipe over with a wire brush and we're just going to rinse it off with water as well. Got the piece here. Good rinse off. So there you go, you can see the two pieces side by side now. Mill scale, beautiful clean steel to work with. And you got the mill scale at the end, we didn't have it on. You can actually feel the step and how thick the mill scale is. On the back, we've got the rusty and then nice clean steel that we can now work with. And you can see it's already starting to corrode this this stuff does corrode really quick um, but a quick wipe over now or run over with a grinder or a bit of sandpaper that will get that up beautiful just take that top coating off but there we go 
nice quick way for you to remove mill scale without hours of pointless grinding two points to make with this obviously be careful messing around with drain cleaner it's not nice stuff you're playing about with so make sure you've got protective clothing on and uh, eye protection also i wouldn't advise using this uh, this way of cleaning up steel on something that's going to be structural um, you know for fabrication and brackets parts that don't really matter bit of DIY around the house it's fine but if it was a structural piece of steel um, I'm not entirely sure what this chemical does to the makeup in the steel so I wouldn't advise that or at least do some research first before doing it hope that helps anyway if you like what we're doing give the video a like let me have a comment down below if you've got any questions and uh, yeah click on subscribe follow the channel and we'll post some more stuff up like this in the future Cheers for watching.